Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's Adrian here and you are watching Bright Beauty 14. Today I'm going to be doing a Q and Adrian number five. Wow guys, fifth one, here we go. So I posted this picture of a jellyfish on my Instagram account. If you haven't followed me yet, make sure you do follow me. Here is my name. You should follow me. So the first question is from Caitlin and she asked me, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is like a blush or like a really nice light pink or white or like a super light blue. So, something like that. Jasmine asked me if, who is my OTP? Mmm! Actually really hard because there have been so many OTPs at the moment going around. Wait, what is mine and Zac Efron's ship name? Hashtag Zadria. That's my OTP, guys. Should be yours too. Jasmine also asked me what is my fave song at the moment and I actually just posted a September favorites but my song, my favorite song has actually just changed so don't hate but this song works so well with the season. It's called Autumn Leaves by Chris Brown. But that is my favorite song at the moment. It's just so nice to listen to in fall too, because it's called Autumn Leaves. So I love that so much. Um, Abby asked me, "What do you get from Tim Hortons?" Okay, I love Tim Hortons. I am a Starbucks girl, but you know, Canadian, gotta support my Tim Hortons. I do still love Tim Hortons. Not probably. I uh, probably don't go there as often as we go to Starbucks, but I mean, I still love it. My favorite thing to get from Tim Hortons is half hot chocolate, half French vanilla. I don't know why, but the people at Tim Hortons hate it when you ask for that. Like, I'm sorry, I'm paying you money. Do you not want me to pay you any money? But my cousin Alex, hey girl, if you're watching, you're probably not because you're like a fake fan. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, if you are, thank you so much for letting me try your drink because... <sighs> that's amazing it's so good it's like a it tastes like a really fancy milk with like chocolate in there it's just so amazing and it's so delicious so get order hot chocolate with half French vanilla Amelia B asked Amelia asked me how do you feel about ceiling fans well I think they're okay I feel like if I stand on my bed I'm always gonna like get my head chopped off I don't have one in my room but no I don't want any of that. <laughs> uh, purple, TBHX Purple asked me, what it, if you could change your name, what would it be? If I could change my name, I would change it to... Oh my gosh, I don't know. Probably something shorter. Definitely something shorter. Easier to make usernames out of. That sounds so... Yeah, but definitely something shorter. Easier to spell. And easier for people to pronounce. It's so annoying when you're like in a new school. Like this year, I was like... Yeah, my name's Adrian, and then we did this thing in drama class where you go around and you try and say everyone's name, and everyone said, my name's Adriana, Adriana, Adrienne, Andrea, Andre Andrea, like every single name you can think of, and I was just done with that. So I like something that's easier to say and something shorter, so. It's asked me, what, have you ever met a fan in public? Um, actually, yes. Once, when I was like 12, um, I was at Adeline Morin's meetup. A girl's mom said to me, she's like, hi, my daughter watches your videos. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. And <laughs> it was so awkward because the daughter wouldn't even come up to me. I was like, that's so cool. Why don't you just come up to me? Like, your mom came up to me? That's kind of weird. Belinda asked me, what's your favorite sport? So, my favorite sport, I don't really know. I don't really have that much of a favorite sport. Maybe like basketball or dance. Is that a sport? Is dancing a sport? I feel like it is. So if that's a sport, that. I like soccer, even though I'm not good at it. And I like badminton. And I like, I like pretty much every sport. I'm just like not very good at every sport. Julianne asked me, would you rather live with your best friend or hang out with Zac Efron for a week? Now, we actually discussed this, me and Olivia, we discussed like the whole question. I was like, 
My answer is that I'd rather live with Olivia for like the rest of my life because I could live with her for my whole life and how fun would that be? But then if I'm only hanging out with Zac Efron for a week, he's going to forget me and I can always hang out with him like another time if I ever meet him. I can just go to meet him and it's going to be the same outcome. Janae asked me, how do you think you'll do YouTube? How long, sorry, how long do you think you'll do YouTube? I think I'll do YouTube for like another little while, like until I'm old, like unless I can't like keep up with this stress. I'll be fine. Like, I still am going to keep going for a long time, so you don't have to, like, expect expect me disappearing. Aldi on fleek asked me, I know this isn't really a question, but just say, Yana is a llama. It would mean the world to me. There, I just said it. Daya asked me, what is my Snapchat? So, I'm not going to put this out, um, because having... A public Snapchat and a private Snapchat is just too hard because I never ever log out of my personal Snapchat because I always use it and I would never use my public Snapchat so it would just be kind of a waste of an account and um, I'm not going to give out my personal Snapchat because on my story I always post things like that have to do with like my personal friends and my school and things like that so I don't really want to give out information and stuff just in case there's ever like a slip up of information put on there like I don't want to have to deal with that so I'm sorry but until I can kind of make this more serious then I will make a public snapchat but I'm not really using snapchat for YouTube anyways they asked me to post a what's on my iPhone video okay so do you guys want another what's on my iPhone I haven't posted one for like a few months but I privated both of them because they were both horribly edited I hated them so if you do want a new video on um, what is on my iPhone then which is this guy right here then just let me know because I will do it I will do whatever but thank you guys so much for asking me questions. If you have any more questions, just go to my Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, I'm really sorry. That's where I do most of my Q&As, but I rarely check the comments So for questions. So if you do have a question, just leave it in the comments, and I will really try as hard as I can just to go check them and write them down for my next Q&A, Adrian. So if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and subscribe because... I'd love that if you could subscribe. We're at 1,700 and something subscribers, so I'm really happy and I'm really excited. So I hope you guys are excited too. And if you have any ideas, like for me to film, like if you want any costume ideas, I can do that for you. Um, what's on my iPhone? Any other requests? Anything like that, and you just let me know because I would love to do that. I'm thinking of doing a fall lookbook, so you guys just let me know if you think you would enjoy that. So thank you guys so, so much for watching again. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Ta-ta!